Hey, it's Daryl as a service. I was just checking out to see if Microsoft Loop is working with Microsoft accounts yet, and it, it sure does. I just signed up for a demo account just now, and I've got it working with, with two accounts at least. So over here, we've got a workspace which I have created, and it is in um, my, or associated to my Microsoft account. Um, I created the workspace. I um, sent out an invite to my demo user, Laura, and so she um, was sent an invite, and you can see this actually within Outlook.com, going here into my sent items that I sent something through to Laura. So what was Laura's experience? Well, over here, um, you see Laura is in her Outlook.com. She got the invite. Um, she has been looped in, that's all good. And when she joined the workspace, uh, she was invited in and she could see it. So here we are, we're both in those uh, workspace experiences and uh, it works almost the same as within Microsoft 365. What I did notice when I went to invite Laura was that there was a limit to how many people you can invite to the workspace. So there's up to 50 people that you can add to a workspace using a Microsoft account. That's fair enough. It's a free experience, uh, but you know, 50 people is a lot of people that you might want to collaborate with anyway. Uh, and it is recommended that you use Loop for small uh, to medium sized groups. 50 should cover that. Uh, we are both in it. Uh, what else is, is here? Well, we've got pages and sub-pages like we, we uh, expect in the product. Um, we can uh, use all the usual uh, bits and pieces here when we try to insert a loop component. Most of the things, are, yep, they're there as well. I think one thing that I would say is different is that when I'm trying to add mention a file, which is a cool thing that we can do within Microsoft 365, uh, that it will pick up on the file that I might have recently been working on, or if I know the file, I can continue to type the name. And what we've got um, within my OneDrive, uh, or at least in the Microsoft experiences, it's not looking into my OneDrive and finding uh, files that I might have been working on or even suggesting. Um, so if I just try and find a file, ooh, there's a picture of a bald head there. Um, uh, going to presentations, there might be something in here that I can pick on. So. A-K-L-M-S, let's just see if that'll find something. A-K-L-M-S, nope, and it doesn't even have a file option. Um, so there will be other little things like that that don't quite work the same because you're not in a full Microsoft 365 experience, but you can, as you can see, start to collaborate with people across Microsoft accounts. Today you can't invite a Microsoft 365 account to collaborate with a Microsoft account. So depending on who's hosting the workspace, you can't cross that barrier yet. Expect to see that um, in the future at some point. Um, we, I don't know, there's not much more to say here. There are some things that I would look at and go, hmm, that doesn't quite work. Like if I've got a, a page that I want to copy a or share a loop component, I can copy that. But how am I going to share it? Where am I going to share it? It doesn't embed or show within Outlook.com emails yet. Uh, maybe that's a coming feature. But the interesting thing here too is if I copy that and I take the, the link, um, I could e try and email it over to Laura. So let's try that out. Let's go Laura and there. And loop in manually. Try this out. Paste it on in course it's not going to show a loop component is it because it's uh, not supported there yet but if we send that over is that going to allow Laura to open up the let's see should come in shortly there it is looped in manually <laughs> let's click the link and see what happens okay that kind of worked that kind of worked, at least it brought me into the workspace and it showed me the page. And that's because I have uh, that capability of going to the workspace. Um, what else? Maybe I could copy uh, the component, share the loop component, that's what I've done. So I could go to another page, for example, maybe paste it in there. Does that turn into the link? Yeah, okay. So it means that I can 
paste in um, and refer to loops on other pages. Uh, let's also try out if I can create a numbered list of things. So what I want to do, I want to head out for, for dinner, watch a movie, see the sunrise tomorrow. Okay, uh, what can Laura do? Well, I expect she'd be able to do this. Copy the content, click the handle, create a loop component from just that content. Let's see if it isolates that and just shares only that content and ignores the Wahoo part of that page. We'll create the component. So you can see the color that comes around all that content. It's like it's sectioning off just that content. Um, now let's see what this experience is going to be like. If I copy that content and I'm going to create a brand new page. I copy that. Brand new page. And let's try this. Paste that in. What happens? Yeah. It is just surrounding that content. I can't scroll up and down within there. Um, so it's great. Not bad, not bad. Um, and that's something I really like about copying loop components, turning content in a, in, on a page into a loop component, that it just shares that piece. And so I can loop people into certain parts of my collaboration. Look, I think that's enough. Um, there's plenty more that I'd like to check out, but just the point is that it is working with Microsoft accounts. Um, there was, uh, I guess, a little trouble on launch day to try and get in and use your Microsoft account. What I see now when I go to sign in um, and do it for the first time is that it says, hey, you're still on the wait list, just briefly. Then that disappears and it shows me the getting started workspace that helps me get familiar with Loop. So uh, try it out if you want to um, try and use Loop for personal productivity and you want to collaborate with other Microsoft accounts, other people using Microsoft accounts. You won't need a Microsoft 365 account. You can do this for free with up to 50 people. Not a bad result. Um, so well done. Um, this is working and it's free. That's Daryl as a service at your service. We'll see you again soon. Bye for now.